Hello, welcome back to everyone. Just want to show you this piece that I made. Uh, as everyone knows, cobalt blue is my favorite color. I hate even throwing away the empty tubes. So I made an homage to cobalt blue with all the empty tubes and I put it into a, a box frame, as you can see, and even the frame is cobalt blue. But I, I use it a lot in my paintings, just to bring it forward to you, just to show you. I have a few little sayings on it as well, bits and pieces. You can pause it if you want to look at the different sections. But it's brushes as well. There's a bit of blue violet in there as well. That's another favorite color. But you can see, there you go, you see, frame is cobalt blue. So that's how much I'm obsessed with it. Okay, put that over there. Now, I'll show you what we're going to do here. Yeah, we're going to start off painting daffodils because they're in season, okay? Well, they're nearly out of season at this stage. And just welcome back everyone, and especially Luca, who's doing really well, who's uh, Mary Francis. His granny is doing fantastic work with him at home. And look, she sent me a fantastic card that she did herself. And I saw one of Luca's paintings online and it's just absolutely mind blowing. I wish I could paint like that. So keep up the good work, Luca, okay? And here we go. We have the colors for our daffs, okay? We have the cobalt blue, needless to say, as a base color, which we always use. You can see I have the tape on my canvas already. It's 14 by 11, whatever size you have. We're doing landscape shape. Just doesn't matter, whatever size you have, go for it, you know? Now we have nine colors in fact, I know I have eight here, but number two is actually two colors together. It's cadmium yellow medium and cadmium yellow light. Okay, there you go, there's the two of them. Now if you don't have the cadmium yellow light, just add a little bit of white to the cadmium yellow medium and you'll get a lighter yellow, okay? Now the third one there is cadmium yellow orange, okay, which we have here as well. You can see I'm using Liquitex because we are, most of you who buy the paints buy the Liquitex. Um, in Evans, as you know. Okay, that's it there. Then we have cadmium red light, which I have here. Okay, cadmium red light. If you don't have the cadmium orange, just add a little bit of yellow to this cadmium red light and you'll get a lovely orange, okay? When we get to those colors, I'll explain that to you. Don't worry, during the, when we're painting it. Then we have light green permit, okay? Which is the next one here. We'll be using that. If you don't have light green permit, if you have a darker, green just add some yellow to it that will lighten it or a little bit of white you know no worries use whatever you have you know th th these are not written in stone these colors okay and then the next one i have is magenta medium which we have here which if you have great if you don't have it add a little bit of white to red you know to try and get that pinky tone you know or even if you have portrait pink add a little portrait pink to red and you get that Okay, and then we have down here, what do we have next? We have Brilliant Blue, yeah, which is another one of my favorites. Okay, we're going to use that as well. Brilliant Blue. And we're going to use, I think, yeah, I have it here. There's a Brilliant Purple, okay? Brilliant Purple, which will come in at the very end. And I have an extra color here, Manganese Blue, which I didn't put down on the list, but we might use it. We'll see. When we get there, I'll explain. Okay, so that's everything. So I'm going to take those colors away. Oh, you can pause that, you know, and write down those colors for yourself when you pause it. Okay, so we're gonna start. Um, well, basically I'll just show you the normal brushes that I have. You know them at this stage. They have the square flats or brights as they call them, you know. Uh, the three different sizes, which I love, you know. I just love the three different sizes. I work with these all the time and then I have a small round brush, okay. As usual, if you have a big brush like this and a big canvas, you know, go for it. Where's my big brush? Here it is here. It's stuck this paint on I was using it earlier. Go for it. Go for that big brush. And let, you know, let your feelings flow with that. But because I'm working on a no normal size canvas and we're constricted because I only have a phone to film with, I have to use these small brushes and small canvases. Now to get started, look, all I have is a piece of a pa pastel pencil or a piece of pastel, okay? Basically, we're going to divide it third at the top and two thirds down here. Just to start off, just a loose line like that, very loose, no big deal, you have it. Do it with um, your a, a paint brush as well if you want, you know, there's no big deal about it. Okay, so now that we have that in, the next thing we're going to do is then, we're going to go for our brilliant blue for the sky, first of all. And you know what? I'm just going to put it straight onto that. Straight on there like that, okay, no big deal. No messing around with palettes, you know, no messing around with palettes here. Get a little bit of water, a little bit of water, and just start spreading it around. 
just start spreading the news, okay? All the way around, down to this line. Keep the line very uneven. You don't want a straight line. We don't like straight lines, as you know, in this class. Straight across there. See, I still have that same amount of water, which is doing quite well with this. All the way across, all the way across again. Yep, yep. Here we go, in there, in there, in there. And if there's a little bit of blue coming through, no harm. It'll all add to it. That's the idea with the blue underneath, okay? Don't water it down too much because um, we're not doing a watercolor, we're doing a painting. We want a little bit of texture, you know, as well. We want all these colors shining through. We want the whole thing to be just amazing, like all your other paintings, okay? Now, basically, that is going to be your sky, okay? No big deal, we're just simplifying this. We don't want to create artists with angst. You know, we, just, we want to enjoy ourselves doing this, okay? So take it easy, relax, sit back. In fact, you know, put on some music as well in your, in your studio. Now we're gonna clean this brush. Give it a good bashing down there in the bottom of the water well. Get my tissue, clean that, okay. And then what we're going to do then is, I've decided I'm gonna go with the manganese blue, okay? We're gonna go with the manganese blue down here first. We will lighten it eventually. But what we'll do this time is we'll put the manganese, a little bit of manganese blue onto the palette, okay? Because we're gonna do our usual trick with the grasses, okay? Watch this now, can you see that? Okay, usual trick with the glasses, grasses I should say. I have my glasses on my brain, very focused. It took me weeks to get used to them. It was tripping and falling. People thought I was drunk when I was wearing them first, but now I, I think I've mastered them anyway. Now, we're gonna start the grasses and we're gonna do this directional stroke again with a big square brush but with the tip of the brush because we want thin thin strokes at the top we've done this before and as we move down we get wider okay so we start up here like this just above for the want of a better word again the horizon line okay just above there like that okay just above slightly above see the way I'm doing them over to the over to the right I should say over to the right I'm losing the sense of direction here over to the right I need a compass even to paint paint to paint my picture Okay, now there we go, over to the right, as you can see that. Then as we move down, as we move down like so, just increase the width of the strokes, okay? Increase the width of the strokes, okay? Make them here nice and hiddly piggledy around the place. That's what we love to see, hiddly piggledy, okay? Did anyone find out what the origins of those words? Okay, I keep forgetting to look them up. Higgledy piggledy. And then we're not gonna go down all the way. We're gonna have a few gaps down here at the bottom to let that cobalt blue uh, sort of take take over the show in the foreground okay so it's it's ma mo ma mainly at the top okay where we're going to have uh, the manganese blue okay have you got that mainly at the top okay now what we're going to have to do is you can see I'm jumping around the all I'm doing now is cleaning up my palette looking very good cleaning up my palette can you see that but I'm just basically taking off what's what's left there Okay, and I'm just spreading it around, bringing it out there. We want to close it a little bit at the top. We don't want to see too much uh, cobalt blue at the top. It's mostly at the bottom. We want to let it through as if there's a shadow. Now, basically, all I'm gonna say is the usual here at this stage. I'm just gonna dry this quickly, and then I'll be back to you very shortly. Okay, thanks a lot.